What's the problem, Miss Self? Something very odd has happened. Question. Who's that guy? Oh, that's Glenn. He's opening a new cupcake shop in town. I'm gonna have one million billion trillion flavors. We're gonna have chocolate with vanilla frosting, vanilla with chocolate frosting, chocolate butterscotch with ketchup centers. Thank you, Glenn. I'll just leave my box right here. As I was saying... <laughs> here's the photo of the giant ball of gum in the town museum. It's made up of 1,000 wads of chewed bubble gum. Except this morning, shrunk down to one wad. <gasps> and the sign's different, too. There used to be three zeros after that one. Why did the ball of gum shrink from 1,000 wads to one wad. I have a hunch what's happening, but I need more evidence. What are you waiting for? Go! Squishinating. We're going to read it! Here's your usual. Thanks, Polly. Ah, perfect. Say, there's some odd stuff going on around town. Have any graphs that might help us out? Let me see. This is a bar graph showing how much money I make selling hot chocolate. Haven't made much today. I'm never, ever going to get that pony. Maybe because the price of your hot chocolate has gone down. Five cents? But it used to say 50 cents. Five zero. What happened to the zero? Same thing that's happening to zeros all around town. They're disappearing. <gasps> no! Sounds like we've got ourselves a number hog. A, a what? A number hog. Oscar can explain. Where is he? It's basically someone that uses up a number so much that they start sucking up all that number. Wait, if we don't fix the zero problem, I'm not turning 10 tomorrow. Auto's turning one. But I don't want to turn into a baby. No offense, Agent Orson. <laughs> Agent Otto, listen. Somehow, some way, we will find that number hog. If we have to climb the highest mountains or swim the deepest ocean, we will. Or we could just use my number hog finder. That'll work. Come on, partner. Agent Orson, I want that report on my desk by five. 